Hey everybody, it's Tyler Binkley here, and right now we're going to take a look at the checking for switches section of Swift coding. So with Swift Playgrounds, this is the first section in conditional code in the Learn to Code 1 program. So checking for switches. This is called conditional code. And so, you know, again, um, I mentioned this in the last video, but if we use some conditional clues, uh, it can help us out with what we're solving a lot of times. So this one says, the goal is to use an if statement to toggle only closed switches. Try running this puzzle a few times before you write any code. You'll notice three switches on the walkway, each randomly toggled open or closed. If you toggle a switch that's already open, the switch will close. You'll need to use an if statement to check if each switch uh, to check each switch before toggling it. So I think the whole point of this conditional code, all right, this entire chapter is to teach us what conditions are and, and actually setting them up in our coding. You know, the example that I try to use, I, I try to use a couple of examples to kind of make sense of this. Um, you know, Byte doesn't know what conditions are and, and we do, okay, and, and to define a condition or or to think about a condition, a condition would be like if I said, you know, leave your house, right? Like, you know, okay, you know where to go, where the door is. And then, you know, if there's a door there, you have to open it to get out of the, out of your house, right? Like, you, like we know that because we've grown up and we've experienced this long enough that we know, oh, if there's a door, I got to open it and then I walk out, right? Like, I, I can't just like, walk out of the house. I can't just like jump out of a window, right? Like we have to, you know, if there's, if we're upstairs, we have to know, oh, I got to go down the stairs first, right? Um, you know, like with taking out your trash, like would you take out the trash if the bag were like basically, you know, empty, right? Or like nothing in it? Uh, no, you would wait until the bag was full and you would say, okay, if the trash bag is full, uh, empty the trash, right? Or, you know, maybe it's like if the trash bag smells, take it out, right? So, you know, things like that, like we know, okay, if there's a condition that those are all conditions, like if it's full, that's a condition, then we take it out, right? Or if it smells, that's a condition, then we take out the trash. Uh, so, you know, like Byte does not know, you know, if these switches are on or off. So, you know, it's telling us to run the code because if we see they turn white and it's randomizing them, so we don't know if they're going to be on or off. And if we keep running it, you can see it's changing. So, you know, now the first two are on and the last one is off. And if I hit it again, okay, now just the, the middle one is already on. And so, you know, you can't just simply move forward and say uh, toggle switch because you don't know if that switch is going to be off or on already. And, and yet, like, you could do it and maybe get lucky. I mean, it's 50-50, right? Like 50% chance that it's going to be on, 50% chance that it's going to be off. So, you know, you don't want to really risk it on, on luck though. You want to build something. You want to code something that is going to notice the condition. You know, if it's off, toggle it. If it's on, just keep going, right? Like that's what, that's what we're doing in this chapter. That's what this chapter is all about. So I actually really like this chapter. This is probably, uh, you know, maybe my favorite chapter because it just makes sense. I think, you know, when you when you talk about conditions and you learn what they are, like the examples I was going over, it, it makes sense. So that's where they are introducing us to this if statement. You know, an if statement is basically what I was talking about. You know, if the if the switch is off, toggle it on, which is the example they give us um, right there above number one. You know, if it's on a closed switch, toggle it. Otherwise, we don't want to do anything if it's already on, you know. So number one, you know, in the directions, it tells us move to the first switch. Okay, so that should be pretty easy. We're just moving forward twice because there's two tiles in front of Byte to get to the first switch, right? And if I run that, you know, you're going to see, oh, got a little error here. Let me start over. You know, we're in the real world, so mistakes happen. Looks like my, looks like my Swift is bugged a little bit. I need to debug it. I'm going to try that again. So I need to move forward. Sometimes things don't come up on your keyboard either, and you have to bring your keyboard up by hitting that bottom arrow in the very bottom right-hand corner. And then once you tap on something, it usually brings everything up. So I'm going to move forward twice. Let's see if it works for me this time. Okay. 
Now we got my move forward, move forward. So now I'm on the first switch. Now it happened to be off this time, but again, we don't know. It's randomizing it. This whole chapter is going to be like that. So now it tells us select if in the shortcut bar to add an if statement. Okay. So there we go. Now what's the condition? We're actually using the example from up above. Now make sure you have condition highlighted in blue like I do. And we want to say if it's on a closed switch, so that's the condition. If it's on a closed switch, what are we going to have it do? Well, whenever it's on a closed switch, we want to toggle the switch. And that's the coding that we type down below. Okay. Now, what's really important is that, you know, if I run this, you know, I can run this once just to see if it works. Right. And now look, this time it, it happened to randomly be already on. So it shouldn't do anything. Because it notices like, oh, it's not on a closed switch. So it's not going to do anything because we didn't tell it to do anything. There is a function or there is a, uh, a conditional code that we could do if there was something else that we wanted to do. But that'll be a little bit ahead of this section. So that worked. Okay. And now it's saying repeat this for the two remaining switches. So we, ha we have to move forward to the next switch. Now, it's really important that you go after this bracket. See, that bracket is a part of this if statement, okay? You know, I just moved it up there uh, by accident, but you got to make sure that your next move forward, your next line of code is below that bracket because we don't want to be a part of the if statement right now. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. And here's the thing. You can, you can redo it. You can hit if down at the bottom. We can type it in again. If it's on a closed switch, we're going to, in the code, we're going to toggle it, right? We're going to toggle the switch, okay? And that would, this should work then for the first two tiles, the first two random tiles. Okay, now you can see the first one, it skipped because it was already on. The second one, it realized, hey, it is on a closed switch. It was on one, so it did toggle it. Now we have to do it one more time. I'm going to show you a nice little trick here. You know, if you want to uh, just copy, you can copy things, right? You know, I'm going to tap on the word if. It's really important that I tap right on the word if and it selects everything and copy that. And then down below, move forward. See, I got, I got one more switch I need to, to do this for. So I'm just going to tap and press paste. And now you can see I have like three sections. And so, you know, step through my code. Let's see. Okay, it's saying, oh, it is on a closed switch. So toggle it. Okay, oh, it is on a, t a closed switch. So toggle it. And here it's going to say, oh, nope, it's not on one. So it didn't do anything. And there we go. We finished. And this would work every time. You know, if I run this, a hundred more times. It's going to work every time because we did the conditional code. There was no random luck here involved, which is what I love about conditional coding. You're just telling him exactly how to solve puzzles. I hope this uh, video helped. If you did find it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much.